Hello and welcome to Maths and Maths. We're doing some shapes using magformers for primary school or even some secondary school. So my guest presenters are going to help me go through some shapes and discuss their properties. What have we got here? This first. A square. Okay. And yeah, what properties are there of a well, square? There's four parallel sides and four right angles. And all four of those sides are equal. Okay, what's the next shape? A triangle. Okay, and great. What do we know about a triangle? There are three equal angles and three equal sides. Right, and this is an equilateral triangle where it's three equal sides. We could have triangles of different angles, but this case is really nice because if we put a couple of them together, what have we got then? Okay, or, so we've got... Or primary, would call, would call it a diamond. Yes, yeah, so when you see some kids' books or primary school, you might see it called a diamond, but definitely in secondary, you'd call it a rhombus. And what properties are there with that? Well, it has... How many sides? One, two, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four equal sides, <laughs> but there's not a right angle. So it's kind of like a square that's been pushed onto its side. So... <coughs> Four equal sides. Okay, if we were to put three triangles together, if you put three triangles together for me. Get a trapezium. Okay, a trapezium there. Okay, and what can you tell me about a trapezium? Well, it is four sides. Yeah, on the outside. Four, four sides. sides as well. It's also quadrilateral, and those two are parallel. Yeah. Okay. And also, it has one, and it has two corners. Wait, yes, if it's an isosceles trapezium, then these base angles are equal, but you can get three different types of trapezium. Uh, scalene one, right angle one, and as you said, if those two angles are equal, it's uh, isosceles trapezium. Great. If we were to add another trapezium to the bottom of it, keep adding those triangles. Yeah, keep going with another. Fill those gaps. What shape are we getting there? That would be a hexagon with okay. six sides and six vertices. Yeah, so that's your beehive shape, a nice hexagon there. So you can see these equilateral triangles can make a rhombus, can make a trapezium, and can make a hexagon. They can also make, make another... Parallelogram. There we go. That was the other one I was going to get to. So we're moving the hexagon to the side. They can basically make... a rectangle, but with corners. Like yeah, that. it's a rectangle with parallel sides um, instead of right angles. So it's kind of a rectangle that's being shifted. Again, you've got four sides. Rectangle, there's also rectangles. Great. So let's see a rectangle then, please. Yeah, so you've got uh, another four-sided shape with right angles and parallel sides and two equal, two pairs of equal lengths. We've got one other shape that hasn't been seen yet. What's that? That is a pentagon. Okay, and how many sides has that got? That has got five sides. One, five two, corners. three, four, five. Excellent. And five vertices. Yeah, One, the vertices two, three, are the corners. Four, five. Okay, great. There's something special about squares and triangles, though, that isn't... They tessellate! Uh, absolutely. What does tessellation mean? Okay, so Let's move these names and... Shapes out the so way now. Tessellation means that right fitting into a hexagon, they fit with no gaps. So instead of fitting like that. Like, Show me what the pentagon saying that doesn't work. Yeah, something that doesn't work would be a couple of pentagons. Because if you were trying to make here, one a square. Here. Yeah. There's one pentagon here, but there's there's going to be that gap. gap. Another pentagon isn't going to fit. So, and, and again, if you show me the hexagon. so it no, but you so, can show me again with the squares or the triangles. But the, and then tri also, the triangles fit together fine, and squares fit together fine as well. But then this type of triangle would not fit in there. Okay, it so has it's something. To be a longer it has to do, has something to do with the angles. These four angles all add up to 360. You've got 90, 90, 90, and 90. They add up to 360. The angles are on the point, so they tessellate. These angles here, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. 
there are six times 60 is 360. Angles are on a point add up to 360. But a pentagon, those angles don't add up to 360. So that's why they don't tessellate in 2D. Those of you who like football know that in 3D, pentagons and hexagons can fit together. Oh, my guest presenters run off with the uh, pentagons that they don't. But there's something else that's quite nice about uh, these shapes. They so can really make so nice. Does, so it doesn't even have to tessellate, but tessellating shapes can even make symmetry. Well, on both sides, do you see it's exactly the same? Absolutely. So those squares, using those nice color patterns, purple, yellow, blue, uh, we're getting a symmetrical shape down there. Okay, and we could have done some symmetry with squares or triangles, but my guest presenters got the pentagon in 3D now. We're seeing there's a shape. It doesn't tessellate in 2D, but let's see it tessellate in 3D. If we do that one there. Yeah, yeah. So let's see that one clipping in there, that one clipping in there, those fitting in there. And so on, you could see that all come together nicely together. So there we go, it's coming and together also, in three. Yes, and we've got more. And also, there's another type of symmetry um, that is round one point. So even if you went all the way around, it's still symmetrical. <coughs> okay. It's not just symmetrical like this. It's also symmetrical this way, this way, or any other way you can't so really. So what, you, what you're talking about is lines of symmetry. So you've got a mirror line there and a line there and a diagonal. But you could also have um, what's called rotational symmetry, where you could have angles. Whoops, I got that the wrong way around. And if you spun it, it would be symmetrical. Rather than being symmetrical on a line, it would be symmetrical by spinning. So here, let's see these completed pentagons in 3D tessellating without gaps there. So it's not quite a football. You'd have to have the hexagons there, but you can see. And you'd have to have holes there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that was a lot today. Uh, we've done rhombuses, pentagons, parallelograms, triangles, trapezia, squares, rectangles, shapes, symmetry, tessellation, and I think that's enough for today. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and share. And, and squares. triangles can also do stuff like this. They can. They can tessellate in 3D. So thanks for watching, and like, subscribe, and share, and goodbye from my guest presenters. Bye.